All right, hello everybody. <coughs> oh, cough really. <coughs> Wait, that's like it started. You know, I'm just gonna leave that in there because these things happen. So we're gonna work on some death must die. I only have a couple of hours during the afternoon stream or afternoon recording. So I'm gonna be streaming some other stuff later. I just want to try and make progress on this. So we have our orc man we still need to win the game with, right? Otherwise, he's unlocked everything. But we're going to try to win the game with orc boy. I know that it's possible. We just need to get good. Or extraordinarily lucky. But mostly good. Mostly good. Yeah, we're not going to play this for too much. Oh, I was incorrect about the game having its big update today. I got a little ahead of myself because I looked at the roadmap again. There's a date underneath all the info. It says up to like Q1 2024 or sometime next year. The thing that's the supposed to be out today, so and I don't know when, is the Christmas hat skeletons are supposed to be out sometime today so that's the thing but yeah i wanted to try something real quick hold up oh we'll see i want to palsy and change a setting on my end as soon as i can find it So give me a sec. Okay, I think that is a uh, no. Hold up, I might have fucked that up. Let me double check. Awkward silence. Where is it? Okay, that that did save. Cool. All right. <clears throat> oh yeah, there's some one more thing. One more thing. No, that's set too. What? That's crazy. Okay. The stormy weather outside is just splendid today. Not to brag. Shame you're stuck in here. Well, let me help you zap out of it. I mean, I could just die and get out of it. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. Alright, we're going heavy time zone control. It seems. Started zoning out there. Uh, more banishers, right? Try to get rid of stuff that I don't want to see. All sins lay. So we have Lady Justice. I'm gonna go Merciful Strike Strats in conjunction with the time slow. So we'll never kill anything with all the HP they have, and we'll hopefully not die as well. Except to the archers, because I won't be hitting the archers. If we get more and I can get her sickles, then they will apply weakness as well. Alright, banish that protection.
Reprisal, Regen as well. Advanced Merciful Strike. I love me my Reprisal. Reprisal's rad, but it does damage too. That guy shouldn't have swung. Huh? Ah, oh, right. <laughs> we do that when we dash. <laughs> I was like, how did I get that power? Okay, inner piece would be the trifecta of the stuff. So when we get hit, we slowly, sl very slowly recuperate. Guy hit me. Pretty good XP this time around. Almost level seven before the slimes. Usually we're like five or six. What status is that? The scythe is putting on some sort of status on the enemy. All right, I'm gonna banish uh, wisdom. We'll upgrade the time field for now. What gives me this thing? Sickles. I can't get details on what the sickles do. They were doing some unique status, though. That I'm not familiar with. Unless that's the weakness status, and we just never notice. No, yeah, what is that status they have? They're like... Black, purple, really dark purple icon. I don't know what that status is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna try lightning bolts as a ranged option. We're not moving very fast yet, but we'll be moving more soon enough. Before we upgrade that stuff more, we want to upgrade some other things. Uh, I don't want this. Let's get gem high.
can't wait to see what enemy gets my ire in the new map. It's the summoner and specifically the archers here. I wouldn't care if the summoner just brought about a... Basic skellies, but because he specifically does constant archer spam. Oh, they keep turning even when the thing fires. The archers are gonna make this more and more awkward. damage with that setup but we can definitely tank them all day we need less i need to force less justice early game she's definitely better later in the run i mean we can get a little bit early game uh, so by this point i uh finally got around to uploading the first of these onto YouTube and I noticed that I sold a unique item the sa one assassin weapon was a unique item so hopefully sometime in the future we can get that back <coughs> excuse me <laughs> Let's uh try to be a little more offensive this time. We need a nice mixture here. Our poor orc lord here. He's so wimpy. You know how some say. Oh, it's a mort run now.
I wish the fire didn't overlap with that lifesteal thing. Let's come back to her. Okay. I need to, if we get another justice, as tempting as it will be, just let it go, I think. And then alterate her out. Okay. Expert blights. So we have fire, ice, and death, I guess. Fire, ice, curse, and justice for defense. I can maybe do a kitey style. If I get meteor, I can get that other fire thing where it just hits people that try to hit me. Although that one is usually unimpressive, I feel like. This is our main DPS. Now I just need one more and more for the pop of the curse thing. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Light two. do have a slight itch of the throat, I'll be okay, ideally. I don't feel like I'm getting sick, but I suppose we'll find out later tonight. me with the one two that was my fault for double dashing there's another thing i wanted to try with the kite build if i can pay attention to the minimap and constantly pick up stuff along the way we will keep powering up it's another advantage that idea has at this part so I guess it's like cold. level six all right so that we, we would let her go we need to alterate her so we can do deadly strike and this is our DPS so far curse plus deadly strike equals goodbye shields for the most part That damn near no hit. I'll take the reprisal though, so we have some extra stun of dudes. a good start here. Well, 
Wasn't paying attention to that. That was my bad. That's okay. We can take some hits. Uh, more Shoal Stealer. Oh, you know what? I should start using Weevils there. We want the Life Link. Dash. Shattered. Chill down and frozen enemies below a certain light threshold instantly shatter and die. Well, obviously, we're gonna banish treasure and take that shatter. <clears throat> Which means we definitely want more ice application. Frost trail is definitely something we desire. <laughs> so, secret trick. Secret trick number two acquired. We got a. I would like a higher tier path of frost, but we'll take it. Acquire a legendary skill to make it through the hardest difficulty, right? With your orc brother. Uh, that's an important step. If you don't get the legendary skill, you uh, will have a bad time. Or if you if you're like me, and you're not very good at the game, you will have a bad time. Pretty soon we can just kite shit. It's too bad we don't have war with us. Alright, we need more ice shit. Oh no. I guess no, we don't want dive. We do not want dive. We'll take the blade upgrade. I have no idea why I greeted for that there. I deserve to get hit. It was just a treasure chest. It wasn't like an absolute emergency that I pick it up. And let me get away from the the wall. Oh, we might we might be dead here. I wasn't ready for it. I saw the heart. I wanted the heart, but he was charging on me, so that was bad. Wait, we have the sign of the earthquake. Enemy barriers are nerfed to hell. We deal more damage. <clears throat> you wouldn't be able to notice that against the boss enemies, though. We have 8k. Is there anything truly interesting? I still- I don't have a general plan with Orc Man, right? You think we just want to go raw DPS on Orc Man or something? But I just- I don't have a plan with him. This is summons damage. Another axe here. Less DPS. 15% chance to heal on a hit, though. A lot less attack speed, too. Not what we're looking for, exactly. Yeah, I come again. Llama. Full range, thanks, I guess. Summer? Yes, she's my sister, and I'd rather not talk about her. 
Boss dragon. The blue dragon fights alongside. All right, hi. So it's like Onyx dragon, but ice. Does he chill? And pay attention to that. He does chill. I wonder if you could succeed doing like a as much as you can force it a pure worship one character build you know can we like just go ice in this run be ice orc warrior the final times here and he's like nah bro check out what i have in stock I don't want jump high right now. Um, I don't think. I mean, if we lucked out with more summoning stuff, that would be rad, but. That's what I'm looking for. Gotta have a defensive ability. You know that reliquary chest thing you can't take if you're doing a damageless <laughs> attempt. It's just a useless chest. At least the game tells you it's trapped, though. And if they didn't, you would have to avoid all chests. And you run. Alright, so we have Krom on our side. That ought to sell. Time, Ice, and who is there fourth? Usually it's Fate, right? She sneaks in a lot. So that means no Mort this run. It could be Summer, too. I missed a shrine there. Just in case. All right, let's apply ice as well as the dragon. We might be focused on freezing enemies. If you somehow got a hundred percent attack here, yeah, or even more than that, just swing your weapon and you hit like half the screen. That would be funny to see. Maybe that's something I can work towards in the future. Start saving up items that look good and provide attack area for this guy, and just go an attack area strat. Alright, I, I don't know if we're gonna need Winter Tide as much. Last reroll. Take the path. 
As far as I can tell, Path of Frost doesn't lock out any other spells. It's kind of a unique, just a buff. So you can just tack it on to anything. trying to keep the blade but then it didn't look like it was doing damage to the enemy Took a lot more damage there than I needed to. How many items you get when they drop items? Does that also include hearts? Maybe I underestimate that effect. I guess since we're doing so much ice focus, I should take thaw. We do not damage shields. I'm gonna need the shield thing from Krom. Yes, it's still going. It's always going, ladies. I'm gonna alter you. that shatter thing to come up this time around. <sighs> there we go. Blight will help. More race. Like besides Frost Nova, oh, we should save this for the boss. Right here. Besides Frost Nova, the Blight is really good at freezing stuff.
I'm gonna take dive this time so we have more ice. Just have a, a variety of ice skills. Yeah, it might help if the ice bolts can break the arrows. Maybe it'll help with the homing arrows later. Summoner, master, time field. That summoner thing is tempting, but it's, it's fine. The dragon does more damage than me. This thing, this thing is nice. Reduce enemy barriers. See, it's those kinds of shrines that I want to make sure I travel more often. We want to find those types of shrines, some big perma upgrade ones. Surprise is nothing that can make spawning them in slightly easier. Maybe rarity does or something. 30% more legend offers. What the actual fuck? This thing is nuts. I lose some dice and 1.2 spell damage. I don't care. 30% more legend offers? Yeah, you know, orc dude here, he's been a Acquiring the most legend offers of anyone else as it is maybe that'll be a strat you know what maybe that will be the build i go for the orc anything that has good stats and offers increased legends slash mastery because i think master gets converted in the legend right so you have to roll the master first that's what we'll do for the orc he'll be Completely RNG dependent. And he'll have some of the most powerful builds known to this game. There's a lot of legends we haven't seen yet. I haven't seen Times Legends at all. Um. Alter Rate? I was hoping we would get this guy. I think it's about time we get double blades. Max life increase.
I am creating my own path, man. Can we get uh, more shurikens? Easiest blue slime wave of my life. Full area minus 540 more XP. Can't get Master Legendary. Oh, fuck that. Give me uh, more luck. It's more luck means more legendary. <laughs> 6% luck in case kind of sucks then. And I've lowered your shield by so much and it, sometimes it feels like it doesn't really make a big difference on the shielded people. I knocked him out of bounds. <laughs> I do not do much damage, but we have crowd control, which is kind of neat. I need my dragon to hit the necromancer, but it's too busy with other crap. Such a misplay on my part. 
As soon as I saw the archer fire, I was like, boy, I want to kill the fuck out of them. Chilling Strike did 750,000. That was my basic attack, right? Ah, <sighs> yeah, as soon as I saw the archer fire, I was like, let me kill him. I wasted both my dashes, and then all the knights start swinging, and none of them were frozen. <laughs> I was like, oh, I guess we're getting clobbered here. So, I want more Legend Offers and Master Offers, and that's the build we're going to go for on this guy. So I need to pay attention to the stuff I sell now. Oh, what did I just sell? Oh, this was a Poison Nova. And this has a Breath of Frost, which sucks. Assassin only. Meh. 1.11 passive XP gain per second? A whole solid XP gain per second? I'm inclined to take this. It's slightly worse in terms of my well-being. I've been looking for a better belt. But the more we level up, the more offers I can get, right? One per second sounds pretty damn amazing. And then this is getting sold and that's getting sold. Alright, what else do you have? Any... Legend slash Master... Ooh, Wondrous Ruby of Summoning. Oh, that won't work for her, right? Yeah, we have a parrot on ears. Poison Nova. Heal on kill. 20% damage to low health enemies, but I lose a bunch of other nice things. Alright, expert is not what we want. We want master offers. So nothing good here. We'll keep this belt in case I feel this other XP belt isn't worth it. Try again. We get back in there. Alright, more heals. Which I think means more hearts drop 8% of the time. Useless. Oh my, I wasn't paying attention to the uh, bottom bar. Well, we have time. time man that's what I'm looking for except I wanted to see what your legendaries were like master gem high will scale into the end game very nicely you know not all three of the authors have to land on master <laughs> I would be happy to see just one out of the three. Make him feel it. Gehenna? Why not? It's level two. I feel like early level Gehenna. Just take it. We're apparently going to level up like crazy now. What is that thing above my head? Oh, that must be the indicator of the time ability is active. Ooh. And some high tier skillage here. So I'm gonna also need to find luck increasers to add to uh, our guy. 
gonna be a huge level by the time we get up to the slimes. And typically, I've been hitting six, right? I wonder if we'll get to eight or something. I should have put this belt on the other dude who needs to hit 30. You can give me that. No, it's okay. We have a build idea for Kronk. I need to think of builds for everybody else, too. Something to focus on. Something to dedicate my characters to. Leveling up Blight since we have it. Another thing I haven't done, I haven't maxed out a anything. 27 armor, 18 life, one revive. Oh, do I really want to sack more armor just for a revive? Revive is really good though. Minus 51 armor, I don't know. What I could do is equip that at the last second if I'm paying attention to that. Take the revive and then unequip it, right? Seven. I wonder if I can get the whole screen covered in ice puddles. I'm just gonna keep leveling that up as I see it. Okay, the book? Oh, this isn't the book, damn. More spell speed so we get more ice puddles. More spell area, so we get bigger ice puddles. This is the Puddles of Death run. I should probably have my attack supply 3 status again. More blight? Damn, it's almost like constant. Also, level 8 before green slimes. Not bad, not bad. And I am gaining XP for the puddle damage, so that's radical too. That's Gehenna for you. to that one. Let me alterate them. One time I might try a physical attack build with someone that relies on fates if we get them early. They don't usually show up first though. They almost never do. Do I have an item that's increasing? Oh yeah, I remember. We have the time thing, the shards. 
That is paying off right now. Doesn't last long. Well, I was like, how am I getting faster? Right. We need damage, that's for sure. Basic, right? Yeah, this goes to eighty percent with a bigger area. Back. Maybe I should have got the path of frost so we can freeze more. But so I'm about to fight the dudes with basically nothing except my bare hands, my bare spinning mace and axe, my chopper. this for the boss. Holy fuck. Well... Being dicks. Damn. I was getting stuck on the thing there. I should have left that area. <clears throat> 67k blight. Yeah, that was getting interesting. That was getting interesting. That was getting real interesting. <laughs> and then think about switching this. this too. Whoa, full shop. Full store. What do we have? A peg top? Peg top. <sighs> This could be decent rarity upgrade offers would upgrade my not as rare things. More defense, more movement speed, but my dash cooldown is not what it's at. I'm not sure about that. Evasion. A2 evasion. 
Oh, I want this, I think, because we want to go high evasion with uh, her. So we we'll pick this up. I'm gonna sell this revive armor. It's good, but it's uh, we're gonna like waste it I mean, more often than not, I think. Seven point six more master offer is the same as this other thing. So we get thirty more armor, but we lose the chance to heal on the kill, which is carrying us. I see our, our red glow all the time. I know for a fact we are benefiting from that. Maybe this is worth. We just lose three alteration dice. So I'm not really making good use of that shit anyway. Again, <laughs> we go again. Death really overstepped his bounds. Taking mortals before their time comes, Lady Justice will not be happy. Is that what happened here? There we go. <laughs> High tier path of frost. Uh, yeah. As my level one ability, probably not worth, but we'll roll with it. What is it? Lightning boy. Can we get a high tier something for you? You know what? We have lightning and ice. We can try. Let me reroll. Let's see if I can get a better tier of lightning strike. Let's banish chain lightning. I might want lightning orbs later. And haste. I'm gonna waste my rerolls now. One more. Damn, I was hoping. Alright, we're gonna go... Haste for right now. We might try the AFK strats again. My favorite. Hey, this guy has good shit for AFKing too. He's got the blades. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have a dash. <laughs> I didn't even bother to try to time my uh my attack to break their fireballs. I just walked in there. Let's do lightning orbs as our means of damage without me doing anything for now. Not good enough. Oh, 
always underestimate this guy's range. Okay. We're trying to not attack. We have war and we have lightning, dude. They both kind of suck. So as far as the auto attack goes, they both kind of suck with their auto. Maybe war would be the best to try for knockback. I might want to go war for that. War's dive would be preferred over this too, but this has some ranged properties to it, so I guess we're taking dive. Let's get rid of this guy. Blades. We have a long way to go before we AFK ourselves a victory. Really trying to make this work. Lightning bolt. I was hoping for that. Well, there's not too many crystals, apparently. the knockback attack I think just so we can keep things away from us or lightning bolts I'm not sure it really affects a whole lot of what we have, but maybe. You doing all right? I am doing all right, man. Just keep it coming.
Any rare things? Path of Frost 2. We don't want chill strikes, so I guess Path of Frost 2. I should probably banish some shit that I don't want to see. Man, the boss fights are gonna be awkward when I'm just running around <laughs> the arena. But I've been wanting to try this and see how it works. Just going from shrine to shrine, the wanderer build. <laughs> So, literally, we are likely not going to kill these guys anytime soon. We have to wait for the thing to open. And this is probably the weakest part of this build, right? That's a good shrine for our build, right? Man, I wish we had Path of Fire. I should have got dash cooldown in this circumstance, but more health is fine. They're actually working kind of kind of nicely. <laughs> I was hoping it would be like this. I'm glad I went up for that shrine. That was Enough a good one. Talk. Enough talk.
a knockback really isn't helping that much. I mean, it might be helping a little bit. We'll see in the future. <laughs> Blue slime time. Yeah, honestly, if we had fire trail, that would be much better than the ice right now. Ice dash is not doing anything for me. If we had the life drain dash, that would be even better. Especially since Mort has so many other AFK abilities. Thirteen percent chance of oh, movement speed. Yeah. The ignoring apple of summoning. I will sack damage so I can have the ignoring apple of summoning. My legendary spells that, yeah. Let's gain some rerolls. I do wonder if you were to get. Oh, that's something else I want to try. Maybe I'll do a meme character who gets as many banishes as possible. And you just banish all the common spells. Do you just get legendary spell offers more often if all the commons are gone? I wonder how that would work. The expert were packed adapt. Oh, come on, this is all the same shit. <laughs> Okay, now for the hard part. How do we deal with Necromancer without... I need the blades to hit him, I guess.
I had justice for prize and a shield, we would be really good. Hey! Uh, never mind my sister, she was just asking. Let's get back to- <clears throat> I don't mean to skip them all the time, I'm so used to, uh... Just clicking off of the- They do still say original dialogue. If you pause the video, you can see what they say there. You guys will be fine. It's because I hold left click and then they pop up and I'm still holding left click. I don't immediately register to let go of the button. This necromancer is going to be alive and we're going to get to the other boss. Which is going to be a big problem. Yo, the lusty handyman! I don't even see the necromancer taking damage. I don't even know where the necromancer is. He didn't die, did he? These homing bullets are a problem. Ow, oh, fucking necromancer sniped me. Okay, it's a fun idea. I think it can definitely work. The problem with this attempt is we stopped earning damage. Like, we got blades to five. That was great. We were getting speed. That was great. And then it kind of just kept giving us, like, Warp Pact, Rampage, Strike. We had to take out Bloodlust at a point because there's nothing better. <clears throat> Rampaging Strike's also kind of meh. I don't know what I would prefer to have. I was hoping this knockback would be better. To be fair, all right, this was this was helping. It was helping. I have to give it credit. What's the problem again? It's the hyper, the hyper homing arrow speed or missile speed from all the enemy buffs continues to be the main issue. So DPS build probably better than a kitey build. Black. Lightning. 1% chance. Plus 32% summon damage. Man, I am so mad that I can't put this on my summoner. Because this replaces an onyx dragon. But boy, is it really fucking tempting. This is some good shit here. Black Lightning. A 1% chance would probably come up less often than the 4% as you would expect it to, right? That would make sense. Staff of Summoning. Does this have evasion on it? It does not. Wow, the DPS on this is a lot more even though. Oh, right. Yeah, it is just going to be a lot more. Plus two projectiles, pierce or bounce. And shorter enemy barriers and passive XP gain and three banished dice. This thing is nuts. 
upgrade or oh yeah she needs a new amulet do we have a new amulet a relic we want evasion on her that's her shtick lots of evasion We'll lose the passive uh, XP gain per second, but that's okay. That's just way better armor. This is an attack hit. Why don't we give it to this guy? Right. Maybe. Or, why don't I save the Black Lightning for the Archer? Because it also is providing a 5.4 less attack movement penalty. Why don't we save this for the Archer lad? Why do I have this? Oh, right. I like this one XP gain per second, so we're gonna sell this. I'm not going back. There's no going back. Street Riser in Stone of Exile. 43 evasion. Less than 60, right? Yeah. Would a new skill offer be worth looking into as well as mastery or just, just master skills? We want more master skills and probably luck. Alright, hold up. I gotta look at the other character's shoes now. Some shoes for sale here. Oh, it's my old belt. Well, this has evasion on it, and we want evasion with our girl, so we're gonna buy this for her. Expert, master, that's not as good though, right? I can't even wear this. Okay. Uh, shoes. The other blokes. It's gonna be hard to beat the 53 armor. Okay, let's leave it at that. So, books. The Lusty Orc Handyman. Laying pipe for plumbing. <laughs> the plumbing needs need pipe laid. That's a deep and tight fit. I can lay pipe all day. No worries. It must go in smoothly and fill the gap perfectly. Yes, ma'am. I lay them down just how you like. <laughs> And the seventh necromancer journal. What a headache. Minions of free will are more trouble than they are worth. Stronger? Absolutely. But now they've got opinions and attitudes, especially that skeleton archer. I've created the world's first undead labor union, apparently. Now I understand why death prefers to just store the souls and urns. I've halted production. These few will be my elite and that is that. <laughs> 
Yeah, so the necromancer brought the chatty guy about. Let me check my uh, clock. Computer. It's already three. It's already three. All right. Let's, uh, I'm going to do some rolling real quick. Just real quick. I know you all hate it. You all hate it to hell. <laughs> we'll do one more run. I have time for like one more attempt. Maybe two. Maybe two. No, not three. We can't do three, but maybe two. Maybe two more attempts. Maybe one more attempt. I think one more attempt would be better. One more attempt would be better, probably. Much better. I think we do one more. Okay, almost done. Almost done. Curse this addiction. <laughs> Okay, let's do this thing. We're gonna try for more DPS than just Kaidori. So kitery is kind of hard to put together and i also think i would need um if i want kiting to be a strat for somebody to do legitimately we're gonna need natural movement speed so they walk faster and maybe recharging and stuff wisdom 14 percent more xp and we get passive look at that xp increase <laughs> We'll attempt to do XP build. I guess. So I'll just have lots of abilities. Alright, winter again. World freeze. All enemies gain a stack of chilled every few seconds. You got it, boss. <laughs> what skeleton just looked like he took a hit? Let's I won't banish these skills yet. Let's reroll. It's good old blight, good old path of frost. I'm gonna try to get a legendary again or something better. Agreed. All right, we're forced on the east spell area up then, which I think does boost the shuriken spell area. More masters. <laughs> oh, I like seeing that guy. Doesn't look like four percent more master to me. Blessed by Crom, let me help you. 
drown that out. I'm gonna take chill strike just because the enemy is perpetually freezing with that legendary skill. So by the time they get to me, they might freeze. can do is banish right dash cooldown I'll try this time even though we're not necessarily going for the uh, kiting. All right, I want to. I'm gonna give frozen treasure a chance because everyone is chilled, right? And I want to see if we actually notice a lot of loot dropping in the run and so far I'm immediately disappointed 200% <laughs> is a pretty big number there's a lot of gold dropping I guess I don't see increased drops, man. That's two hundred percent increased drops. That's a lie. Guy again, huh? Eternity to spare.
Well, this is not gonna work out well. Ugh. Should have banned that one a while ago. I guess I got hit by those. That's unfortunate. <laughs> we were supposed to try for more DPS, but didn't work out there. On the bright side, that was nice and short, so we can do one more. Uh, four percent breath of frost. Another black lightning. Another relic slot, though. One evasion. Oh, this is 75 evasion now. One revive. <laughs> Do I care about the uh, other three stats on this? Because that would be a revive and high evasion. Let's see if, yeah. Do we care about the other three stats on this? That's a seven thousand dollar high evasion shirt right there. This is another plus 30 on legend offers, but we need master offers in order to get the legend offer. Would this be superior? Uh, we lose a lot of armor, we lose the healing on killing. We don't really care about summons on their work, boy. It's too bad I can't have that. Legend and Master on the same thing. I think it can happen, or we would have to get lucky. Now back to this conundrum. This seems super worth it to me. But I'm not going to pick it up. <clears throat> because one, it's hella expensive, and two... We want to be evading. Right? We shouldn't be dying with that character, if evasion's worth anything. Which I don't know if it is. Okay, I don't care if I lose experience for that. <clears throat> First roll, legendary, day of, judge day of judgment run. <laughs> but to see if the game tallies how many things it killed. 28 seconds for Day of Judgment. I'm gonna get all the cooldown reduction I possibly Where can find. Is this an AFK? All right, let me think, let me think, let me think. Mm. 
these rerolls don't reroll any stuff, but this seems like a cron problem. Or, yeah, or a build, our dude's build. We might try an AFK strat again. Maybe. We don't really need board packed if we're gonna AFK and instantly kill shielded enemies. None of the bosses have a shield except a golden shielder guy. Uh, shurikens won't be as useful either. I guess we want Rampaging Strike to get the knockback. Yo, time, I need you to show up. We need cooldown reduction. And and the fates, I think they both have it. More heals, more depth offers. More heals, I guess? We don't want depth offers. We want legendary offers. And it blazes decent AFKing, as always. I guess we're trying this again, maybe, because we got Day of Judgment first. Haven't seen any. Did they do drop crystals for dying to that, or did a meteor get those two? Don't pay attention. We can just wait for this guy to die. Twenty-eight seconds later. All right, bloodlust. More damage to enemy barriers. We don't need that. We don't need that either. Let me banish chains of war, bloodlust. And war packed. Oh, if you banish all three, you lose. Oh, that's actually a huge misplay. Then, well, we learned. We learned. I didn't know that would happen. Cause now we're minus one power up, life regen per second, and banish consecration. None of the three that we have so far have cooldown reduction, I don't think. So we're gonna have to find it from uh, elsewhere. Miss. Is that supposed to be a grave? Because I don't even see the grave there. Reprisal. The occasional stun of the guys who don't escape. Or the, the ones who don't die to uh, the kill. Uh, they do drop shards. I was lied to earlier, or maybe that's how it is in Vampire Survivors, but Minus five luck kind of sucks Yeah, 
Then we wait. Okay. Spell damage flare. No, just make meteors better. Meteor is probably my main DPS, and I just hope that it aims for bosses <laughs> occasionally. DVD, DVD, Ooh, I want him on screen when they <laughs> dead again. <laughs> Sucks to you, man. March on. I want fire trail more than charge in this instance. Blades too. Like, I love charge, I do. But I think it's really good for a, more of a beater character. Which we seem to be doing damage despite the fact that I haven't picked up much damage. I don't know what that's about. Unfortunately, we've got no cooldown reduction for the Day of Judgment. So relying on it's gonna be problematic. I'm just gonna have to w hope that it it times well. For one minute till the boss boy. Termination. That guy canceled his fucking dash. I love reprisal. <laughs> Helps so much. Yeah, the red guy went away to dash, he got stunned, and then he came back disappointed because he couldn't do it. Can we please get somebody else's thing? Be mindful.
We are going to die to the homing arrow fuckers. If not before then. I still don't have fire dash, <laughs> which would help a lot. This run kind of sucks, honestly. <laughs> But we're tanky. We're getting tanky. Justice. I'm not a fan of the wings power. Might be good for, I don't know, ranged character or something, but... Don't do any damage to shields. I don't think I saw fire dash there, but I'm not sure. I saw meteor and I was like, I'm just gonna upgrade meteor. We're a little reliant upon meteor. And blades to carry us scene. How did they of judgment knock at the skeletons that are being summoned? It's blue slimes, right? Not smart. <laughs> I swing so slow. We have no attack speed increase. Why don't I have a damn fire trail dash? <laughs> uh, like, none of this is fire trail. <laughs> the game forsakes me. Like, you don't need a fire dash.
I wish that day of judgment held off until the uh, super version came up, but I guess it's coming around again. Yeah, this one. Fire dragon. Behemoth. Alright, I take dragon. So I assume Mort has a blight dragon or onyx dragon. I'm taking charge. I can't wait any longer. I feel like you need a dash skill of some sort. This guy is killing me. Uh, my, my thing with Necromancer is I can't see his attack coming when you stand next to him. show up now of all times. Actually took the fucking dice. <laughs> I think it's always a bad offer compared to powering up more. This is the part that sucks. Ugh. Well, that was a fun run. Um, man, I, I need, I need a way for the poor spin, spinning orc man to hit those damn arrows. I knew I would die to those arrows again. I'm not even sure what, what skill, what skill or set of skills would remotely ease the burden of that area. I have no idea. And they did so much damage. We had 113 extra armor, and they still do a f actual fuck ton of damage. Day of Judgment, man. Day of Judgment's not bad. 
I just wish I had cooldown reduction, but we didn't have time in our pool. And <laughs> we never saw fate until the very end there. What do we get? Armor, life, movement, speed. This is sorceress only, but we lose that sweet, sweet evasion. Magical staff of power. Sucks. I don't know what the angling stat is, but it's 0.5 more angling. The elusive golden eye of ignoring. Not good enough. This is spell damage. This is spell damage, crit, and speed, which is kind of nice. Uh, I might want this actually over I, I don't care about the legend offer on her so much i mean that's a nicety but it's not necessary this is master offer crescent moon Also, Crescent Moon. Ooh, 23 Evasion. I kind of like the shard pool area though, and her girl, sort of a sub theme she has going on. This is 14 extra evasion. Master offers. buy this for Scotty. Not too worried about Scotty right now. So this thing though. I think we want this over her amulet. Do I get the belt? I'll get the belt. As for the jewels, I don't think we want either of these. Anyway, that's gonna do it for me. Thanks for joining in again. Kront, Kront can't deal with 35% faster projectile. Plus all of those enemies count as unique. This is the problem. They get the 60% damage bonus, or, or they get the two extra projectiles. And 60% area, I guess their bullets are bigger. Not to mention this thing, although I don't think they're in the last three minutes. They're like a minute off of the last three minutes. Oh, it's so tough. We, we got to Drac before. I know we can do it. We just need, we need the, the build that got to Drac before. And I don't remember what was in it, of course. Anyway, hope you all have a good one. I'm gonna head out. We'll play some more of this another time.